Hey guys, Bob here. So in uh, one of my last videos, I talked about the uh, app that I was using on my phone uh, to catalog the movies that I had um, and everything. So I just want to kind of show that a little bit here. Um, so I've got it installed on both my phone, which is the one we're looking at, the HTC one, and my girlfriend's phone, which is the one I'm actually using to film this. But I just wanted to show you. So this is the, uh, the app here. It's called CLZ Movies. And this is actually a... The app itself is a companion... Um, to the uh, computer program, actually, that goes along with it. So, basically what the app is, um, is just the, the catalog itself here, so you can kind of, her phone camera, unfortunately, not quite as good as mine, but, um, I wanted to show it off of the, the screen quality on my phone is better than hers, so, um, I wanted to kind of see if we could get it a little bit better here, but at any rate, um, so this is kind of what it is, and I'm sorry it's a little blurry there. You can see, uh, sort of what the, you know, it's just a list of all the movies and stuff that I have, um, and if I could get in on here, I'm not sure if we can do this or not, you can kind of see there, so it's telling you, uh, you know, what, what format it is, uh, the title, the year that the movie came out, um, and everything like that there, so definitely some cool features about this, um, if I click right here on the folder, um, it actually has it so you can actually break it down by a ton of different uh, categories. The only one I really use in here is the format. So if I click on here, then I can see, uh, you know, Blu-ray, DVD, how many I have of each one. But that way, if I'm specifically just looking for, say, okay, well, do I have this movie on VHS? Then I can click on it on VHS, and this brings up all the list of uh, everything that I have um, just on VHS. Um, I wish that I could... Uh, you know, that I could kind of show you how it works when you sync from the program to this, but it does take a little bit, especially when you have such a large collection. Um, but I will show you uh, real quick if we move over to the computer. Uh, this is the program itself on the computer. So, basically, uh, it's got the same kind of a layout here. Uh, you know, here's the the actual titles of the movies. When I click on it, uh, down on the bottom, you can see the um, it links with IMDb and it links with uh, you know Amazon and stuff, so you can get the cover art and things like that. But basically, all you have to do to add a movie, um, there's basically two ways. And I I don't use a lot of features of this. I'm mostly just using it for the cataloging. This actually has video store software, so you can actually if you rent it out or you loan out movies. Um, but I can actually, there's two different things I use, either add movie automatically or add movie manually. Basically, adding a movie manually is what I will do uh, when I buy, say, CEDs or any old movie where the UPC just doesn't show up in the, in the uh, registry anymore. Um, or I have to just add things in manually. So when you add a movie manually, you can add a movie's title, you can add a bunch of information if you want, the, the, the stars, the director, all that stuff. I usually don't bother. I will just put the title, uh, what format it's in, and then uh, you can use the internet to search for the cover art right through this program, and it'll actually add the cover art. Then you can link uh, the title to the uh, CLZ server, so to speak, so that way it will match up uh, with anybody else if they, uh, you know, if somebody else say, you know, say I buy a movie on VHS and the UPC isn't in the server, I can add it to the server. So if somebody else does it, uh, they can uh, they can do it as well. So, um, but what I normally do on here is just add movies automatically. So if you click on an add movie automatically, it comes up with a few options. You can still put things in by title, uh, but normally I would just put something in by the barcode. Um, so you can do, uh, again, two different ways. This has a, another companion program that you can get with it called CLZ Berry, which is basically just a barcode scanner uh, that automatically works. So I could uh, just have the, the cursor in here, and I could scan something on my phone with CLZ Berry, and through the Wi-Fi network of my house, it will send it right to there uh, and come up automatically. Honestly, I only do that if I'm doing a ton of movies at once, or like my the uh, you know my initial run-through when I first got this program, and I had several you know hundred movies to put in, I did it that way. Uh, but normally when I just buy a handful at a time or even one at a time, I'll just manually type in, uh, you know, whatever the barcode is right there and it comes up. So let me see real quick if I can find a movie and uh, we can show it here. So let's see, I'll grab this movie off my shelf and uh, see how well this works now that I said that it works. So, alrighty. So. There it is. 
Okay, so yep, that came up perfectly. So that's my uh, three-disc copy of Schindler's List, the Blu-ray DVD combo pack that I got uh, the day that movie came out because I absolutely love that movie. So um, that movie, you know, came right up there. And as you can see on the side here, it comes up with the cover art, comes up with the IMDb, the rating, uh, the film rating, what what format it is. That's the cool thing about doing adding a movie automatically. If it does have the UPC, it automatically knows what format, and you don't have to choose, say, oh, this is the DVD, this is the Blu-ray. And I've only had a couple of movies... Uh, where it made the mistake and it put it in as a DVD when it was a VHS, which was kind of weird, but um, but at any rate, you know, it works perfectly. And you can see on the bottom, because I already have this movie in my collection, um, there's Add Anyway, because it already knows that it's in my collection. So I, uh, you know, I can just close this out because I know it's already in there. But um, the cool thing about the Add Anyway is, one, it does remind me um, if I've already input the movie once, and then I can go back and double check. But normally... Um, you know, it will also say uh, add anyway, even when you have the movie on multiple formats. So, for example, uh, well, for here you go, right here, I've got Ace Ventura Pet Detective, which I know it's kind of blurry to see there. Um, there we go. So I've got it on DVD and on VHS. So when I added it on VHS the second time, it would have said add anyway and let me know that it was already in uh, in the system. So it is kind of neat. Uh, the only feature that I wish, you know, compare this and the, the app on the phone, the only feature that I wish it had was I do wish I could scan in the movies directly from the phone, um, but it doesn't let you do that. It's something that uh, at the moment you can do it if you have an iPhone. Um, but I don't know why, but the Android one doesn't let you do it, although because I actually purchased this program, I get an email every month, and last month they said that that's a feature that's going to be coming, so that'll be cool. I can just use the barcode scanner that's on my phone, scan the movies in, and they'll be right in there. Um, in all honesty, I'll probably then just end up backing them up to the computer, because it definitely is handy to have everything stored on the computer, because um, the nice thing about this is now I have this list um, stored on both my phone and my girlfriend's phone, so if either one of us is out and about looking for movies, uh, you know, she'll know what I what we have together, and I'll know what we have together, so we don't have to worry about buying something double. Um, the app is not free. Uh, it's the only app I've ever paid for with Android, and it was a $5 app, and it was totally worth it, um, just because, like I said, I would, I, I'm would i kind of forgetful anyway, and I do, I do forget what I have, especially when I'm getting into the point that I have, you know, seven or 800 movies. Um, it's kind of hard to forget, so if you have... You know, a ton of movies, or if you have way more movies, I definitely recommend uh, you know checking out this program because it's it's a it's an awesome you know it's an awesome uh, thing to have when you when you're out and about and you want to double check. I can just pull out my phone really quick and be like, oh yep, okay, I did have this, and it's uh, it saved me from wasting money a couple of times where you know I was 100% positive I didn't have a movie, and then I look and it turns out I do. So um, definitely worth uh, worth checking out here. The program again is called CLZ Movies. Um, and if you're a big book collector, video game collector, they also have CLZ books and CLZ uh, video games. So, uh, pretty cool stuff. Uh, anyway, I just want to real quick show you guys that, so uh, in case anybody was interested. And, uh, you know, don't forget to do the normal uh, YouTube stuff, like rate and subscribe and all that jazz. So, uh, hope you guys have a great day.